Okay, let's get to uh, let's get to Tech Corner tech today. Tech Corner, all right. Um, a lot of you, or many of you, or some, some of, of us, <laughs> <laughs> have probably seen uh, images, uh, video from, let's say, a pharmaceutical packaging plant, or maybe uh, a plant that makes stamped metal parts. And uh, from a ph pharmaceutical plant, you may see something like this. This is a blister pack with a bunch of pills in it. And you've probably seen them coming down a high-speed line, thousands of pills per minute, uh, or per second even, uh, blister packs full of pills. And you know these are being inspected 100%, 100% that the blister pack is sealed properly, that has a pill in it, that it's the right pill. The pills are being read, uh, being examined for color or for the right markings. And you probably wonder, how in the heck do they do 100% inspection at that high a rate? That's what tech, today's Tech Corner is all about. They use one of these. <laughs> this is a smart camera. This happens to be from, uh, from Teledyne Dalsa. This is called a BOA. You can see it's very small. This is about a, oh, it looks like about an inch and a half cube with a lens on it. And it's called a smart camera because it's a camera that's uh, smart. smart. <laughs> uh, it's a camera, it's a CCD <laughs> camera. Uh, uh, I believe this one is 1024 by 768 or 1280 I... by 900, 16 by 9. Think um, so. Yeah, uh, and all the smarts for doing the data acquisition, the data comparison, data analysis, and controlling the disposition of the part that's being measured is all in the camera. These cameras run autonomously. Once they're programmed, they don't need to be connected to computer. They can actually control the line within the guts of the camera itself. So what we're going to look at today is how these cameras are programmed, to kinda, which kind of shows you some of their capabilities. So uh, as I mentioned, this is a Teledyne Dalsa. Uh, BOA, and now we're going to go over to my screen share. We're going to look at the Inspect Express software, which is what is used to program the camera. This couldn't be any simpler. I'm go going to go into the software. First of all, I'm going to tell the software what kind of sensor it is. In this case, um, I have a little marker up here which tells me this is a single camera. It has, uh, I'm going to control it using an inspection trigger. Uh, an inspection trigger is when you have a part coming down the line, hits a particular spot on the conveyance system, sends a trigger to the camera saying the part's in place, a strobe goes off, the camera captures the image, and that's where all the fun begins. So that's going to be an, a trigger that's going to come into the camera. That's what we're telling that we're going to do. So I'm going to say that's all I need for the setup of the camera in terms of the, the guts of it. Now we're going to tell it what to examine. So now I'm going to go into my tools section. I'm going to take a picture. Now this is a simulated picture. We don't have the, the lighting or, mm -hmm. or everything else we need to actually run the camera. It needs proper lighting in order for this to work right. But this is the actual software and this is just happens to be a stored image. So I'm going to get to my proper stored image here. This is uh, the template. This is our golden part. This is the part that we're going to use to program the camera so that it knows what to compare all the other parts to. Couldn't be anything simpler. I've got a number of tools. I've got a distance tool, an angle tool, a circle tool, arc. I've got uh, various types of edge detection, pattern recognition, 2D reader, barcode reader. Anything you can want to measure uh, on 2D can be done through this software. So I'm just going to pick a couple things. I'm going to take the 2D reader. I'm going to draw a bar a box around my 2D barcode and the camera, I'm sorry, the software automatically reads the barcode, tells me the value that's in that 2D code and that is what I'm going to compare against in the future. Um, I think I'm also going to take a read of this barcode up here. That was a 2D code. I'm going to look at a 1D code. So there's a barcode. Same thing. It reads the code, stores that value. Um, I'm going to look for some edges. I want to count the number of slots at the bottom of this part because that's important to me. I'm going to take the edge tool, run it across those slots. It tells me there's six mm -hmm. slots. That's what I'm going to compare to. And the last thing I'm going to do is take a distance measurement. So I'm going to go from the left side of this part. <clears throat> I'm going to go to the right side of this part. And that's going to be my distance measurement because I want to know the distance apart. Now once I've selected my features, I can go back in and fine tune, maybe set upper and lower limits if I don't like the defaults. If I right click on this distance tool, brings up my distance properties for that image, uh, for that uh, feature that I selected. I'm going to tell make this a right angle measurement because I know I'm not going to get the exact dis I'm not going to get the proper distance unless I know that I'm going, going at a right angle from my left side to my right side. So it does that for me automatically. Finally, I want to tell the scale that I'm operating in. Remember, a camera only sees pixels. Camera only knows how many pixels it is. It doesn't really know what the dimension is. So right. I've got to tell it an appropriate dimension. I, so since I've measured this part, since this is my golden part, 
I'm going to say, okay, I know that this dimension is 3.251 inches because it's been measured. So that becomes my scale. I program that in, and from now on, the camera knows what my dimensions are. So now I've programmed the features. I've set my scale. Now all I need to do is tell the camera what to do. So the camera, you know, it's, it's captured the image. Uh, it's analyzed the image. It will know whether a part has passed or failed. So what now? We've said the camera can, can control what happens after that. So now we're going to go, go into the control section. In here, um, the camera already has some built-in simple digital I.O. and in and out. And that can control the simple uh, uh, sorting mechanism for pass or fail. Mm -hmm. What's more important is that it has an Ethernet connection on the back of it and can connect into your, your actual production system and control PLCs. It can control pretty much any PLC that's out there. So uh, if I bring up my drop-down menu, I can see we can control Modbus or Ethernet IP or Control Logix or GE Fanuc. Uh, Modman, Mel, uh, Mel, uh, what is it, Melsec, mm -hmm. or Omron. So if you're a manufacturer and you have automation, you have one of those PLCs, or, or you're adaptable to them. So we, we select our PLC and we run our, uh, we program our script for that PLC so that depending on the outcome of the comparison test after it captures, captures an image, it knows how to dispose of that part, what it does for a pass, what it does for a fail, if it wants to recycle a part. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. The, program, the camera is now programmed. It can be disconnected from the computer, put on the line. It is now fully autonomous. Standalone. So yeah. what, but if you did have a computer connected to it, what would it look like? Well, we can run this part now. So I can step through my parts here. And if I do that, you can see the bottom, we get big pass fails. So let's look at our first part. Obviously, it's going to pass because it was our golden, golden part. part right. If I go to our next part, this one fails because it has the wrong number of slots across the mm -hmm. bottom. Uh, our next part fat passes. Our next part fails because the distance across the part is wrong. is wrong. So all of this data, all of this is being captured within the camera. So what this means is that you can program a group of cameras with one computer, program multiple cameras for multiple lines looking at multiple parts, tell the camera exactly how you want it to control the line, put that camera on the line, dis disconnect it from the computer, and the camera, is, the camera itself, this little goodie right here, is actually controlling the line or that section of the line. That's why they call it a smart camera, and that is how they do high-speed vision inspection on a very high-speed line. By the way, these things measure uh, in, in milliseconds, so yeah. it's very, very quick. It's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. Right. A lot of power packed into a very small package there. Yeah, and, and that, that's the thing. Yeah. Talk about more information. Yeah, oh, there that's great. That, well, no, but in, in yeah. definitely in a good way. No, that, yeah, that, definitely that's a good great. way. That's exactly. great. Well, thanks, sir. Great. Yeah. All, as, as usual, a well-presented well tech corner.